Staff, and welcome to today's quad. Hi, I'm Sophia. And I'm Josie. Josie, are you going to bingo night tonight? Yeah, I am. Are you? Yes, I am. I'm so excited, and I can't wait to see everyone's costumes. Me too. I heard there's going to be amazing pizza, soda, and so many more things. Okay, let's hand it off to Amara and Brand for sports announcements. See, see you tonight, tonight Panthers. Panthers. Thanks, Sophia and Josie. I'm Amara. And I'm Brynn. Hey, Amara, did you hear about the girls' basketball tryouts? Yeah, I did. Trials for girls' basketball is on Monday, November 6th, Tuesday, November 7th, and Wednesday, November 8th. And all callbacks will be on Thursday, November 9th. Eighth graders trial on Monday, November 6th, 7th graders trial on Tuesday, November 7th, 6th graders trial on Wednesday, November 8th, and callbacks on Thursday, November 9th. You need to have your sports form and physical form all filled out to be on the court to try out. All forms are on our IMS website. Come play for your school and become part of our Panther winning teams. If you have any questions about tryouts, practice, games, etc., come talk with Coach Dorsett or Coach Alexis and get all of your questions answered. I know I'm going to try out. See you on the court. Our varsity volleyball team took on Pine Lake on Tuesday. It was our final match of the season. The varsity girls won all three sets. Our varsity team went undefeated for the whole season. This is the second time in 20 years that this has happened. Congrats to all the girls this season. JV also did very well, and the final score of the season was 7-3. Every player on the team showed massive improvement in their skills, communication on the court, and working together as a team. Thank you to all the players for such a fun first season of IMS Volleyball. Thanks for all the support from our great IMS fans. Now let's hand it back to Sophia and Josie for updates about the fundraiser. Thanks, Amara and Bryn. Josie, do you know we're already almost halfway through Popcorn for Panthers? That's crazy. That went by fast. We already raised a lot of money, but let's keep that momentum to reach our goal of $60,000. Now it's time for Clunking for Cookies! Hey kids, it's time once again to play everybody's favorite game. Clunking for Cookies! All right, the word this week is rigmarole, rigmarole, and it means a long and complicated process. Let's get to it, shall we, from the sixth grade hour this week. It's Melina DeBase from the seventh grade hour this week. It's Eve Braun. From the eighth grade, our winners are yes. Joe Christensen. Way to go, everybody. And remember, you can't win if you don't play them out. Thanks, Mr. DeBrew. Hey, Sophia, what's your favorite Halloween candy? Mine is obviously toothpaste. I wonder what the rest of the school thinks. Me too. Let's find out in this feature story. Do you like sour or sweet candy? Sweet. What do you guys mean for Halloween? Cowgirl. A pilot. Oh, that's cool. I'm being a red M&M. Yeah. What are you guys' favorite candies? Skittles. Skittles. Dang. Okay, cool. M&Ms or Skittles? Uh, Skittles. Cool. All right, Twix or Snickers? Snickers. Twix. Would you rather be a hero or a villain? Ooh, villain. Villain, because I'm a baddie. That was super cool. Now let's watch a short promo for the door deck contest. Hey, Panthers. Amara, did you know that there is a door decoration contest going on right now? No, I didn't. What is it? It's a contest where homerooms compete against each other to win the prize. Decorate your door in a Halloween theme to win the contest. The winning homeroom earns points for the peak. If you need a long piece of paper to cover your door, you can contact Miss Gale for help. I heard a rumor that some homerooms are competing against each other. For now, only Mr. Cottom and Mr. Dorset are competing against each other. But, if you want to compete against another homeroom, all you have to do is ask them. Hope that you can participate in this contest. For the one billion people in the world who live with a disability, life can sometimes be a challenge. But when Judy Human, a disabled teacher from New York, decided she had had enough discrimination, she helped spearhead a new law that changed United States society forever. In 1949, when she was just 18 months old, human contracted polio, an often deadly disease that left her using a wheelchair for the rest of her life. As a child, she experienced her first taste of discrimination 
when the principal of her kindergarten refused to let her enter the building on her first day of school, claiming she posed a fire hazard. Her mother fought for her right to education, and she was eventually enrolled in a public high school, where Human was often bullied by her classmates. But at Camp Gen Ed, a summer camp for children with disabilities, she was able to make new friends and experience an inclusive life. It inspired her to want to change things so that others with disabilities can enjoy the same freedoms as those without. While studying speech therapy at Long Island University, Human led protests, calling for improved access. And after graduating, she applied to be a teacher. But the New York Board of Education denied her request for a license. Using an excuse she had heard before, she was a fire hazard. So Human sued and won in a settlement out of court, becoming the first teacher in New York to use a wheelchair. Now a pioneer, she threw herself into campaigning for disability civil rights. In 1972, when President Richard Nixon blocked a new law designed to protect those with disabilities, human organized protests across the country, bringing the streets of New York City to a standstill as dozens of disabled protesters rallied against Nixon's veto. In 1983, she co-founded the World Institute on Disability, a global organization dedicated to improving the lives of disabled people everywhere. But it was the Americans with Disabilities Act which made discrimination based on disability illegal in the US that proved to be her greatest victory. Human went on to serve under two presidents. Today, she is recognized as one of the greatest disability rights activists of her generation. Why do you think it's necessary to advocate for disability rights? That was really helpful. Remember to always be kind no matter what a person's ability is. Now let's hand it off to Chase for a surprise popcorn video. Hey Panthers, we're interviewing some of your fellow Panthers to see what they think about Rip City popcorn. We'll start off with the cinnamon flavor. Can we try it? <laughs> yeah. What would you rate this flavor? It's like a... 8 out of 10. It tastes like the cinnamon cereal. It's really good. That's good. I like that one. That's like a 9 out of 10. Okay, now we'll be trying the chili cheddar. Ooh. Spicy. Mm. That's good. But less good than the cinnamon. I'd give that like a, like a 7.5. I give it a 7. Yeah. Okay, now okay. let's try the caramel apple. Is it this one? Ugh. Mmm, I like mm. it. Yeah, it's good. That's okay, also and our good. last flavor is gonna be the Rose City mix. What is it's it? still good. Probably like it? a seven. I don't know. I like the. I really like the cinnamon one. Yeah, there's like cereal. And the caramel one, but the other two are okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Happy Halloween, Panthers. Roar! Roar!